Now, with the future of the president's uh, re-election campaign uncertain, could we see a name from North Carolina on the presidential ticket? CBS 17's Dina Harley spoke with an expert about Governor Roy Cooper's potential to land in the White House. As Democrats across the country call on President Joe Biden to drop out of the presidential race. I suspect the pressure on Biden to step down from running for re-election will simply build and build. One name keeps popping up, North Carolina's own Governor Roy Cooper. He is somebody who has not seemingly been interested in running for president. Stephen Green is a political scientist. He says if President Biden were to suspend his campaign today, Vice President Kamala Harris is the most likely pick for the nomination. So if it comes to choosing her vice president... You take a black woman who people have concerns about, fears she's too liberal, and then you pair that with a Southern, a older Southern white man, you know, who comes across as moderate, who has a kind of appeal to demographics that Kamala Harris doesn't. And in many ways, it's, it's almost kind of a perfect balance for a ticket. While Green says it's not all speculation, every day leading up to the election has been uncharted territory. It's not like we're just going on some new ocean we haven't been in before. It's almost like we're on some new ocean on some different planet. <laughs> Green points out the Democrats have plenty of time before the convention to nominate anyone else. That convention is scheduled to happen from August 19th to the 22nd. Dina Harley, CBS 17 News.